PIP. I had been out of school for two years. I had tried attending three different colleges straight out of high school, and I probably should have took, taken a year off because it's, let's say in junior year, I had a, what, I, what I refer to as a premature case of senioritis, you know, just, and then going straight into college is probably not the best decision. So after a year of college, I stopped and I worked for two years. And uh, eventually, I decided, you know what, I, I can't keep working in the fish department of a supermarket. Although I seem to be everybody's favorite fish girl and I have the unfortunate <laughs> nickname of Fish Chick. <laughs> it's not, you know, the most flattering of nicknames. I can make a further joke, but I'm going to withhold myself because some of you know my uh, orientation and I'll just leave it to your imagination. <laughs> it's dirty, I'm sorry. Anyways. <laughs>
the brain is different from what we like to refer to as like, you know, neurotypicals. Um, so some people have in their heads a sort of clock mechanism. They'll be like, oh, I have to brush my teeth and you know get dressed and get out the door in the next 15 minutes, you know, in order to have this much time to get to class. My brain doesn't do that at all. It really doesn't. It, and I don't think like I, I, I can develop coping mechanisms, which I have. Like with Jeff Wheeler, those time estimation sheets where I would write down how long I think it would take to perform a task and then actually time it and be like, oh snap, I was off by like 300%. <laughs> that sort of thing. And, and help me build a, a better frame for how much time do I actually need to write this paper or to, you know, do laundry or whatnot. So. It's a little bit better, but it's always going to be a challenge, especially with the first class in the morning. I'm taking, yes, I'm taking three classes this semester at BCC in order to transfer to UConn. I'm getting some prerequisites out of the way and stuff. And the first class always suffers. I'm always in there like 15 minutes late, which really sucks, but the teacher knows me and he knows that I make up for it with my brain power. And I'm not trying to use this as an excuse, but you know, I'm always inclusive and that sort of thing. But sometimes you really have to play your strengths if there is if there's a limit to how well you can do a certain other task. So it's kind of like you gotta pick your battles. But yes, the CIP has helped me out a lot with that. Um, and plus the study skills I've learned here have helped me a lot now that I'm on my own. I'm without CIP's tutorial support, you know, study halls, any of that. So I have to go home and be like, oh snap, I don't have this safety net anymore. But having the skills that I've learned from, you know, various tutors and whatnot here have been incredibly helpful when I go home to not go straight on to Facebook, which I still sometimes do. But, you know, we, we, we all have, you know, our battles to fight, so. <laughs> Um, and I forget what I was going to say. This is also a problem. <laughs> Forgetting a good senses. Um, but yeah, uh, it's, it's gone. I'm sorry. Okay. Did anyone have any questions or anything? I don't know if anybody wanted to ask questions since I've been here for four years, graduated in May.
than, you know, more important things like the, the uh, propensity for getting something like gas gangrene, which is a very Asperger thing to say, that I would focus on something like that. <laughs> a lot of Asperger's people may be germophobic, that sort of thing. But you don't want to mess with gas gangrene. Um, Michael Klein flushed at rates of an inch per hour. It doesn't care if you're the CEO of Microsoft or Yakker or Tibet. There are more important things to focus on than Paris Hilton. So I think you were nice. Can you tell us what challenges you have in your internship? I take a long time to do certain things. Like my internship, I was working at InterAccess and I was offered a job a few months later. I'm very thorough. But part of that is like, I wouldn't say it's the most efficient form of thorough, because I check everything. And I was working fixing computers, and so I would be like, okay, some people will say, all right, this computer is being stupid. All right, can you give me more description? You know, is it being slow? Are you getting pop-up windows for Viagra or something? You know, like, I need more information. And some of them just say, it doesn't work, fix it. It's like, okay, and then you have to go through and, and do that. And the way I would do it, I always, I'm very detail-oriented. So sometimes it takes me longer because I go through each and every like step and, and checking out everything. But that means that I usually don't miss much. So time management and trying to you know, weigh the difference between how much time do I have to work on this computer and you know, get it out the door and running versus you know, the quality level, you know, it's, it's kind of a trade-off. That's one of the, the things, and also being late to the internship, so. <laughs> How Yeah. <laughs> 